You should've heard those knocked out jailbirds sing, let's rock. Oh, baby, let's rock. Everybody in the whole cell block who was dancing to the jazz rock. Spot him up and on the tennis saxophone. The little jaws are blowing on the slide trombone. The drama ball from Illinois goes crash, boom, bang. The whole rhythm section was a purple gang. Let's rock. Oh, baby, let's rock. Everybody in the whole cell block who was dancing to the jail has a rock. Let you go now, but I'm hoping a week in this slammer taught you a lesson. No more riding into my town, playing that music, and exciting our women. We don't like our women excited. So now, you get on your bike and get. Oh, uh, but there's one thing. I, uh, promised I'd give you this note. It's from my daughter. Oh, and... This note's from my wife. <laughs> oh, and from my mother. <laughs> But she doesn't know it yet. Oh my gosh, who? Yeah, who? Uh, Come on, who? No one. There's no girl. I was just joking. 
It's Natalie, isn't it? Oh, gosh, yeah. Hey, Natalie! <laughs> no, you can't. I'll die. What? Nothing. Oh, gosh, I wish someone was secretly in love with me. You're too young. I'm not too young to fall in love, Mother. I'm 16 years old. Yeah, well, I fell in love when I was 16, and look what happened. What? You. Now back to work. <laughs> You know, Dennis, I wish I was going with you. Do you? Do you really? Yeah. Maybe I'd find a fellow there. Well, what if there was a guy for you right here in this town? Yeah, I wish. What would he be like? Would he be real brainy? No. He'd have to be real different. Have a real sense of adventure. Probably ride a motorcycle. You know, I've been thinking about maybe getting a motorbike. You have? No. <laughs> uh, who am I kidding? Hey, Sylvia, what are the chances of a girl finding the man of her dreams in this town? Eight billion to one. See, this is the most depressing town on earth. How can you ever be in love in a place like this? Ain't that right, Henrietta? <laughs> Since my baby left me, I found a new place to dwell. It's down at the end of Lonely Street called Heartbreak Hotel. I've been so lonely, baby. I've been so lonely, I could die. Shifting from town to town 
no job can hold me down. I'm just a knock around guy. Oh, there's a lot of space beneath that sky. Till I find my place, there's no doubt. I'm just a rolling roustabout. So, where am I? Never mind where are you? Who are you? Ma'am, my name's Chad. And I'm just a roustabout with a song and a soul and a love for the ladies. <laughs> Oh, ha happens a lot. Sh she'll be fine. <laughs> anyway, uh, while I was roving, my bike started making this jiggly wiggly sound. Uh, not good. I, I need a mechanic. My daughter is a great mechanic. Her name's Natalie. Natalie. Wow, a female mechanic. <laughs> hey, Natalie! Some great looking guy needs a mechanic. Uh, um, hi, excuse me. I'm Dennis. How are you? Anyway, you'd be doing me a big favor if you didn't spend a lot of time with Natalie. Oh, what's that? Well, she and I are shouting about Lorraine. I was under a Chevy. Hi there. My name's Chad, and I need you. One night with you. You see, my bike was making this jiggly wiggly sound. <laughs> uh, oh, there's not a motorcycle I can't fix. Oh, well, how can I thank you? Just call my name and I'll be right by your side. I want your sweet helping hands. My love's too strong to hide. Don't have to thank me. Hey, he's wearing blue suede shoes. Nobody step on him. <laughs> oh my God, Dennis, look at him. Couldn't you just die? Not really. <laughs> and besides, Curtis, like you don't fall for guys like him. You're right. Always lived a very quiet life. She recently passed the Mamie Eisenhower Decency Act. The, the, the Mamie Eisenhower what? No public necking, no tight pants, no loud music. Oh, well, I'm going to have to do something about this. Oh, Chad, you're the greatest. Oh, that's <laughs> it. Hey, Mr. Rastabout, I've got a bone to pick with you. I think you're bunk. That's right, bunk. Mr. Song in your soul, ha, face it. You're nothing but a big, good-looking, juvenile delinquent. Kill me, no one. <laughs> oh, well, I, I'm just happy you're showing signs of life. <laughs> well, you all see the spirit of this funny looking little man here? Well, you all gotta get that same spirit. I mean, no public necking. And then what's the point of living? I like to neck. <laughs> well, come on, everybody. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. Come on, everybody. <laughs> Sorry. Come on, everybody, and snap your fingers now. Come on, everybody, and clap your hands real loud. Well, come on, everybody, take a real deep breath and repeat after me. I love him, my baby. Love him, my baby. I love him, my baby. Love Baby loves me. My baby loves me. Come on, everybody, whistle a tune right now. <laughs> Come on, everybody, and stomp your feet real loud. Come on, everybody, take a real deep breath and repeat after me. I love him, my baby. Love him, my baby. I love him, my baby. Love him, my baby. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, my baby. 
baby loves me. My baby loves me. making what kind of sound? Oh, jiggly wiggly. Yeah. Any chance you can fix her by tomorrow? Took the last fella four days to get her back on the road. Oh, I can fix any bike in an hour. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. How'd you learn to do that? I've always loved motorcycles and, well, my mom passed on and I just seemed to be spending more and more time in my dad's garage, so... Wow, a gal who's good with a wrench. <laughs> Is that something you find 
Attractive? <laughs> sure, little darling. <laughs> <clears throat> um, <clears throat> hey, Chad, <laughs> can you hand me that rag over there, please? <laughs> what in this locker? A dress? You know what I always say, why wear a dress when you can use it to clean an engine, am I right? Well. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, um, anyway, Chad, you know, that jukebox, it really was broken and then you touched it and... Well, yeah, it seems like ever since I was a babe I've had this special gift, the, the music inside of me. Yep. And that's why I go from town to town to spread my loving. <laughs> oh, man, this town with that maybe Eisenhower or whatever, I, how can you all stand it? Well, I'll just up and leave. Oh, I, I couldn't. Well, why not? Well, there's my dad, and where would I go? Are you kidding? There's a whole world out there. Well, don't you want to get out of here? Yeah. Break the speed limit? Yeah. Maybe find yourself a honey man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when your heart gets weary, time to move along. When your heart gets restless, time to sing a song. But when a dream is calling you, there's just one thing. different today. Maybe that's why I finally worked up the nerve to give you this. What is it? It's a sonnet by Mr. William Shakespeare. Read it carefully. Gee, it's, 
it's a little hard to understand, but it's about love, isn't it? Yes, yes, which, which brings me to something I've wanted to save for a very long time. Natalie? Hey, I'm... Naomi, how's my bike coming? <laughs> It'll be running better than ever by tomorrow, Chad. Oh, really? You're some mechanic. <laughs> oh, Chad. Chad, Chad. Dad, dad, dad. <laughs> I'll just leave you two alone. Uh, wait a minute, little man. I I've been looking for you. For me? No, no one looks for me. <laughs> While I'm in town, how'd you like to be my sidekick? Chad. Chad, Chad, Chad. Anyway, Chad, I, I was just wondering. What do you look for in a girl? Well, uh, I've been with a lot of women. No, a lot of women. <laughs> but, uh, I always try to look beyond physical beauty and into a woman's soul. Wow. Well, the museum is open. One night with you is what I'm now praying for. Saki, who is that? Miss Sandra, she just moved here to take care of Matilda's museum. Afternoon, ma'am. Afternoon. I was uh, hoping you could give me a tour of your fine museum here. Really? I've been in town for a week and you're the first person who's shown any interest in the museum. <laughs> well, I dig hot art and I dig hot women. <laughs> and when I see a hot woman who digs hot art, I say hot diggity. <laughs> You mostly marry your cousins around here, don't you? So, how about that tour? Very well, let's begin. This is the statue of Venus, the goddess of love. And she represents all the ideals of love to which all civilized people aspire. Spirituality, intellect, romance. Oh, everything you say makes me sweaty. Uh, okay, tour's over. Oh, wait a minute, where are you going? Um, are you standing over there? Well, no. Then that's where I'm going. Uh, wait a minute, uh, can I at least say one thing to you? What could you possibly have to say? Sidekick? Baby, let me be your loving teddy bear. Put a chain around my neck and leave me anywhere. Oh, let me be your teddy bear. Oh, God. <laughs>
Natalie, you're wearing a dress. <laughs> Something's going on in this town. I didn't even know that you owned a dress. How do I look? Do you know you've got a grease stain on at the size of Alaska? Does it really show? Hey, Natalie, I've got plenty of dresses. Come on, let's go pick one out for you. Why on earth would she be wearing a dress? It's only one reason a girl wears a dress, and it begins with a B and ends with a Y. And has an O in the middle. You think she's doing it for some boy? Oh, yeah. But she's never shown interest in a boy before. You don't think it's for that roustabout, do you? Now, why would she be interested in him? Just because of his sultry eyes or his pouty lips or those tight, tight jeans that make a woman say, oh, baby, oh, baby, oh? <laughs> no, I doubt it's him. <laughs> My little girl is wearing a dress for some boy. <laughs> hey, she's going to leave me, isn't she? What are you talking about? Well, you know, she's gonna find the right fella. She's gonna move out, start a family of her own. Uh, I want her to be happy, but I'd be lost without her. You know what you need, Jim? A new wife, or a dog. <laughs> I don't know, Sylvia. Maybe I should discourage this. Look, Jim, do I ever butt into your business? About once an hour. Well, that's because you make a lot of mistakes. Now, when she comes back out, just be sure to tell her how nice she looks. And here she is. She's beautiful. She's fabulous. She's glamorous. Just she's... let her in the rain. Ta-da! Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God, Natalie. You, you look... Silly? No, no. Uh, you look... You look just... Like? You look just like your mother, sweetheart. Oh, Dad, you're not crying, are you? No. You go and have a good time, Natalie. He he'll be fine. Thank you, Sylvia. Thanks, Lorraine. I'll see you later, Dad. And your little girl looks beautiful. I wish your mother could have seen her like this. Jim, did I ever tell you you're a nice man? No. Well, you are. <laughs> You know, Sylvia, I think that's the first compliment you ever gave me. Really? How long have we known each other? Twenty years. Twenty years from now, I'll give you another one. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvia, how long has it been since you kissed a fella? Six happy years. <laughs> Do you ever miss it? Jim, every morning when I wake up and there's no man on the other side of my bed, I know it's going to be a good day. <laughs> Well, I haven't kissed a woman since Margaret died, and that's almost three years now. You reach a certain age, Jim, and you realize it's better to be alone. <laughs> yeah, living alone, eating alone, sleeping alone, my whole life alone. Excuse me. One night with you <laughs> is what I'm now praying for. <laughs> yes? I, I... <laughs> Spit it out, Jim. <laughs> this town makes me miss Rutland. <laughs> that woman is gonna make a fool of him. Well, that's what love does, Mother. Love? He ain't in love. Mother, why are you shouting? I'm not shouting now. Get back to work. Love. Ha. Jim would never fall in love with the hoity-toity female You're like You're talking that. to yourself? I am not. Oh, the lip on that girl. I can't believe she thinks I'm talking to myself. Kids got no respect nowadays. No respect. Damn it, I am talking to myself. <laughs> Dean Hyde. What? Well, that's my name. You asked me earlier, and it's Dean. Dean Hyde. Wow. Anyway, I have to ask you something. Can I ask you something? Yes, it depends what it is. Well, um... I think you're really, really, really pretty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can tell me that. Well, I think you're really, really, really pretty. Okay, bye. Wait, you're leaving? Well, I have to meet my mother at 1500 hours. I think you should stay. You really want me to? 
more than anything. By the way, denied. Have you ever been in love? No. Have you? No, but I really want to be. And just think, you're the son of our mayor, and I was raised in a honky-tonk, so our love would be a forbidden love. But that's okay. Forbidden love's the best. Didn't you ever read Romeo and Juliet? Theirs was a forbidden love, and it's the dreamiest story ever. How does it end? Not good. <laughs> Do you want to dance? Are you crazy? With everyone watching? All right, listen up! What's the rest about? And I'm a sidekick. <laughs> Beautiful Miss Sun. She wins that away. Thank you, Ken. Hey, don't you two make a cute couple? Oh, no, we're not a couple. He's right. Oh, well, that's all right. Kids, ain't nothing wrong with it. Sidekick! <laughs> well, that's all right, Mama. That's all right for you. That's all right, Mama. Just any way you do. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right, That's all right now, Mama. Anyway, I do. Thank you very much. <laughs> My mama's gonna tell me. Her friends will tell me too. Girl, that boy you're fooling with, he ain't no good for you. But that's all right. 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 That's all right.
here by now. Sorry, I'm late, Mom. Oh, there you are, my golden child. Mom, why'd you want to see me? Dean, I'm sending you back to the Stonewall Jackson Military Academy. What? You're all packed. I made cookies for the bus. Mm. But, Mom, I just got here yesterday. Why do I have to leave already? Oh, Dean, an agitator has come to town. Well, I don't care. I'm not going. Dean, you've never talked back to me in your life. Did you hear that, Earl? Not now, Earl. <laughs> oh, Dean, you must leave immediately. Why, if the rebel stays, who knows what you might be exposed to? Sin, degradation, and I can barely even say it, dating below your social status. Goodbye, Dean. Mommy's gonna miss you. Bye-bye. Excuse me, ma'am. How much time till this bus leaves? A couple minutes. Dean! Lorraine! Oh, thank goodness you're here. I was looking everywhere for you. Really? Well, you ran off so suddenly. Your mother scared me. That's not the worst of it. She absolutely forbids us to be together. So would my mother. So would the whole town. And my school. And the whole world. Oh, this is so hot. <laughs> Tell me, Dean, have you ever kissed a girl? Negative. Wait, I can't. I'm being shipped away on that bus. What? Lorraine, have you ever disobeyed your mother? Every day. Well, <laughs> I've never disobeyed mine. I'm sorry, but duty calls. Will I ever see you again? I'll be back next summer. You're going off to college then. Hush. All aboard. <laughs> and to think, we haven't even kissed. Do you know what that means? It's now or never Come hold me tight Kiss me, my darling Be mine tonight Tomorrow will be too late It's now or never Excite me. Let your arms invite me. For who knows when we'll meet again this way. All the board is coming aboard. It's now or never. What do you think? 
Oh, think I'm in love. Really? Hello there, sweet tower of eternal beauty. <laughs> Wait, won't you at least hear me out? What is it? Love me tender, <laughs> love me sweet, never let me go. For you make my life complete, and I love you so. <laughs> love me tender, love me long, take me to your heart. If it's any consolation, I think you look beautiful. Thanks, Dennis. By, by the way, why are you wearing that hat? Oh, I asked my cousin Ed how I could be even more like one of the guys, and he said wear a hat that makes it look like you're gonna kill an animal. <laughs> <laughs> and look, blue <laughs> suede shoes. Don't step on them. Am I kidding? Chad still looks right through me. I'm just not a dress kind of girl. I might as well be a guy. Yeah, too bad you're not. <laughs> what? Well, take me for instance. For the first time in my life, I'm one of the guys. And Chad, he likes me. He really likes me. <laughs> likes hanging out with guys, doesn't he? Hey, what are you doing? Dennis, how do I look in this? <laughs> Actually, kind of like my cousin Ed. That's perfect. <laughs> Bye, Dennis. Bye. 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 I'll see you later.
Sandra. Have you seen my best friend, Chad? By Chad, do you mean that guitar-playing caveman with the libido of an Italian soccer team? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like him. He's right behind me. Oh, what? what? Come on! No, no! Wow! She really finds you repulsive! Oh, man. Have you ever been turned down by a woman? Oh, yeah. Well, it's a new highway for me. Now, I'll tell you, some people search for deep love. Some people will search for true love. No, but I'm searching for the highest form of love there is. Burning love. And she's got me burning like never before. Oh, there must be something I can do. Chad, do you want some advice? Sure. From who? Me. No, seriously. <laughs> I just think you're going about getting Miss Sandra all wrong. A woman like that, you, you've got to massage her intellect. Massage? <laughs> what? <laughs> Look, I happen to have on me a sonnet by Mr. William Shakespeare. <laughs> it's one of the most beautiful things ever written. Once she reads that, she'll be putty in your hand. Putty? Oh, that's good. All right, little man. I want you to take this pummel up in the sun. All right. You know, that's Ed. Ed? Ed! Ed. And I'm just a about singing my song and loving my ladies. Oh, Ed, you're, you're just like me! Not really! You can burn my house, steal my car, drink my liquor from an old fruit jar, do, do anything, anything that you want to do, but I'm a honey, lay on with my shoes and don't you. Step on my blue spray shoes. You can do anything but lay off of my blue spray shoes. Hey, I wear blue spray shoes. You can knock me down, step on my face, stand on my name all over the place. Do anything that you want to do. But I'm a honey, lay off of my shoes. Blue, blue, blue spray shoes. I'm sorry. I gotta hit the road. No! Ladies, hello, people. Wait! Here. Are you sure? 
Yeah, you're the best friend I ever had, too. Well, she don't even know him. Uh, some things you can just tell. Just take good care of him, okay? See you around, Ed. Oh, what a funny little man. <laughs> All right, so let's pick up where you boys left off. Where are you talking chicks? Because I know this chick named Natalie who'd be perfect No, 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 There's only one chick for me now, and her name is Miss Sandra. And I need you to take her this pummel up for me. What? No. Well, I thought you wanted to be my sidekick. Oh, that's what sidekicks do. Yeah, oh, you got to do this for me, you just got her! Excuse me. Whoa, okay, I'll take it. Oh, thanks, man! <laughs> Guitar playing roused about. I am Jim Holler. I own the local gas station. Oh, you must be that mechanic's daddy. Yes, Natalie. I'm in desperate need of advice. Oh, let me guess. Female advice? Yes. I met the most beautiful woman, and, and I can't even work up the nerve to speak to her. I just look at her, and my hands start shaking. My knees get weak. I can't even stand on my own two feet. Can you help me? Well, sure thing, Natalie's daddy. Come on. Hey, you see the way I'm dressed? Yes. Copied. <laughs> but for now, just turn up the collar. Got it. <laughs> oh, but above all else, Natalie's daddy, you know what you got to be? <laughs> no idea. Cool. Well, you know I can be found Sitting home all the road If you can't come around At least please tell a fall It won't be cruel To a heart that's true Oh, baby, if I let you back I want something I'm about to say Oh, please, let's forget the past How the future looks right ahead It won't be cruel that's true. I don't want no other love. Oh, baby, it's just you all. Think it up. Your turn. I don't think I can do anything like that. Shake it. Don't stop thinking of me. Don't make me feel this way. Fight hot. Come on, let me know you love me. You know what I want you to say. Don't be cruel to a heart that's true. Now move that. Why should we be apart? I really love you, baby. Cross my heart. <laughs> I think that this is starting to work. It always does, Natalie's daddy. Come on, let's take it home. I we'll go to the preacher. And when I say I do, then you know you have me. And I know I have you too. But don't be cruel. Don't be cruel. To the heart that's true. To the heart that's true. It's my duty as a sad cake to give you this. So here, it's from that guitar playing roustabout. Now, I know you're not interested, so I'll just be on my way. Oh. Okay. Are you okay, ma'am? Yes. No. <laughs> it's just a poem. I'm sorry. It's just that the sonnets always stir something in me. And ever since I've come to this town, I've been so isolated, and, and the men are so brutish. And it's just, well, no, never mind. I'm fine, truly. You know what you should do, ma'am? What? Close your eyes. Uh, what? Yeah, 
close your eyes, and imagine yourself happy. Now what do you see? Well, I'm with a man. A man who has poetry in his soul. Well, go get him. You gotta kickstart your life. You gotta follow that dream wherever that dream may lead. You gotta follow that dream to find the love you need. You know something, Ed? I think I do feel better. Glad to hear it. Song, do it. Do what? Get inside you and <laughs> touch you deep down like it somehow knows you personally. Oh, how lovely. You know, I think music is some sort of magic. <laughs> the way it takes over your body and changes you and makes you realize how beautiful life can be. How simple, yet profound. I guess when you think about it, all the best things in life seem like magic. Music, laughing, falling in love. Oh, God! One night with you is what I'm now praying for. <clears throat> anyway, uh, I'm glad you're okay, and I'll be seeing you. Oh, Ed, I can't take it anymore. I'm alone all day with these stupid statues. Hey! <laughs> Make love to me. What? Quote Shakespeare and peel me like a banana. Uh, 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 Sandra. Uh, uh, Sandra. 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 Sandra, stop. <laughs> Sandra. Uh, uh, I've... I've never been with a woman before. <laughs> oh, you sweet thing. <laughs> oh, baby, I'm gonna teach you what love's all about tonight. Oh, no. <laughs> Trust me, honey, everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> gonna do like I do. There ain't nothing to it. Listen to me, baby, anybody can do it. All you gotta do is just let yourself go. Now don't be afraid, just relax and take it real slow. Don't be scared now, take it slow. Call it, baby, you ain't got no place to go. Stop, you have the right to remain. Just put your arms around me real tight. Enjoy yourself, baby. All you gotta do is just let yourself go.
citizens, attention! Good news, Sheriff Earl is now enforcing the Mamie Eisenhower Decency Act. Earl, look, public necking, get him! You two, you're under arrest. <gasps> Dee! Mom. What are you still doing here? And you were kissing a girl that was raised in a honky tonk. Let's go. You're not going anywhere. Oh, yes, I am. I love Lorraine, and look, Mom. I can dance now. <laughs> the deviant. Uh, and you must be that scary mayor lady. So, we finally meet. I don't have time for you now. This is all your fault. You and your music and your pelvis. As soon as we rescue Dean, you're under arrest. Drive, Earl, drive. Chad, you gotta leave town right now. Ed, I need to talk to you. Did you give that poem a love to Miss Sandra for me? Yeah, and she still hates you. All right, Ed. The only reason I can figure for a woman not loving me is because there's another man. Is there another man, Ed? Uh, uh, sort of, but he doesn't want anything to do with her. But Chad, Matilda's serious about throwing you in jail. You've gotta leave. No, a man doesn't leave when he's threatened, Ed. Man hides. <laughs> Where can I go hide? You can go to the old fairgrounds. That's right. Matilda shut that fair down years ago. She'll never look for you there. Oh, perfect! Uh, hi, Ed. <laughs> Come join me later. You really want me to? Oh, Ed, I, I know we just met, but I think you're the greatest sidekick I ever had. <laughs> Natalie, I just bumped into Miss Sondra. She's looking for Ed. Not now, Dennis. Chad's in trouble and he needs me. But what if there's someone else out there for you? What? Well, what if there's someone else out there, maybe right under your nose, that's not particularly good looking or exciting or interesting, but average? Well, maybe below average. <laughs> Could you ever love someone like that? Dennis, all I know is Chad and I were meant to be together. Haven't you ever felt that way about somebody? Yes! <laughs> Go help, Chad. Thanks, Dennis. You're the best. Oh, Ed! Oh, Ed! Oh, Ed, where are you, darling Ed? Excuse me. Have you seen a short man of poetry and insight who goes by the name of Ed? You're in the wrong town if you're looking for a man like that. Oh, contraire. I met him this afternoon. Funny, my hands are shaking. In that dress, everything's shaking. <laughs> What's that? In the distance, someone's playing guitar. No, they're not. Yes, yes, it's coming from the old fairground. Play on, play on, play on. Am I the only sane one left in this old damn town? <laughs> How do I look? I think you look like James Dean, <laughs> about to enter an old folks' home. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> and I just happened to see Miss Museum Lady. Did you see where she went? The old fairgrounds, that's where everyone seems to be going tonight. But Jim, if you keep up this foolishness, that woman is going to break your heart. Well, at least I have a heart. What? <laughs> Sylvia, I'm standing here ready and open to find someone to care about, and, and all you can do is make fun of me. Well, I feel like I'm 16 again. Jim, just calm down. <laughs> I am too happy to be calm, and you are too good of a woman to be so bitter. Who says I'm bitter? Everyone. <laughs> Oh, you act like you're tough on the outside, but I know you too well. And inside, you're just a pile of goo like the rest of us. And as for not kissing the man in six years, that is nothing to be proud of. So here. <laughs> Do you hear that? Huh, that's music and it's coming from inside of you. Jim, I, I think I hear it. Wise men say only fools rush in, but I can't help falling in love with you.
fairgrounds.